Hello, we are back with drawer six of our flat file cabinet haul. And um, trying to think, if there's anything you're interested in, feel free to email me. Our email is groovyvintageworks at gmail.com. For those of y'all don't know, uh, this is Jenna. I'm Jenna with Groovy Vintage. And I purchased this flat file cabinet full of paper for $100 at a collector's estate sale. So let's get started. Making sure I was on the right cabinet. <clears throat> First thing we have is a painting. I can tell it is painted. Um, I was trying to see if the back, what the back said, but I couldn't. So there's the painting, and it's on like a stiff cardboard. Here we have something, appeal, appeal to reason. This was uh, December 28, 1907, and Theodore Roosevelt, okay, the appeal to reason has made the charge that Theodore Roosevelt while governor of New York signed the bill that there was lobbied through the legislature of that state by the Harriman interests that made the bond issue of the Chicago and Alton Railroad a legal investment for savings banks, thus securing the sale of said bonds and consummating the notorious Alton deal, which has been exposed by the Interstate Commerce Commission as the most gigantic railroad bond swindle ever perpetrated in the United States. So there we go. Oh, and <clears throat> this actually has a has a price tag. Somebody tried to sell it. Appeal to Reason, December 28, 1907. $20. It won't be $20 on this channel. Here we have the St. Louis Republic. Let's see what their St. Louis Republic, February 19, February 6, 1905. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, Senator Ferris is seriously ill. Um, East and South suffer in grasp of blizzard. Well, us Texas people are suffering from a blizzard. Outside, there's still snow. It actually was flurrying this morning, flurrying this morning. Um, we've had a house full of people since Monday uh, because we are the only one in the family that did not lose electricity and and or water. Uh, just a photo of some quail, maybe? <clears throat> Ladies Home Journal, June November 6, June 1918, John Paul Jones at the Constitutional Convention. The World, a supplement to the Life Pictorial Atlas. So this is a map of the world. <clears throat> then we have some photo, it's like a photo book. <clears throat> and it's just got different photos in it. Oh, here, let me back away. Let me back away so y'all can see. It's got just different photos. Um, Oh, this is cute. He doesn't have anything. It doesn't say anything, but it's a cute picture. This isn't, well, I say it's not so old. Once again, the Boondock Saloon and Dance Hall. Debbie Scott, singer, composer of good country music, was going to be there. April 25th, 1987. Here's an Aero Club. Flyer. Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Oh my goodness. I love this. I would love to have this framed. Look at those colors. 
Those are so pretty. That is really, I really like this. I once had the whole Gettysburg address memorized at one time, at one time. I still remember four, four score and seven years ago. Yeah, that's about all I remember of it now. Um, a picture of people harvesting wheat. <clears throat> An advertisement for Lux Laundry. A really old picture that has seen better days of an Indian with some horses. Flannery's Garage. Wow, this is January 1929 and it does have the whole, that's in really good condition. The, he's about to, he's got a gun in his hand and he's gonna shoot that bear. More pictures waiting on the bird feeder, just pictures of birds. I have a friend who is a bird watcher. Oh, <clears throat> more birds. Here we have a picture of, I know what those are called. It's not a windmill, it's a water thing. Like it reminds me of Holland. Uh, Victor Talking Machine Company. It's a advertisement for the Victrola instrument. It is easy to identify Victrola instruments. And on the back, looks like it's an ad for Cairo Syrup. Picture of a guy trying to catch a rabbit. Here is a drawing, Vince, somebody drew this on the back of a flyer. Southern Breeze Band, not so old. What do we have here? A, this is the front of, it's just one, of an era of the Arizona Republic, April 18th, 1971. Oh, now this is pretty. Let's see if it has a date on the back of it. It doesn't, but it's just a little, a little lady. It looks kind of like it's a watercolor. Some of it, like the flowers and stuff, looks to be like a watercolor. Here, Hughes Tool Company, 50th anniversary prints. Oh, so it's reproduction of paintings. Oh, so running the first rock bit at Goose Creek, Texas, 1909, and it has, it is a big envelope, not envelope, folder, and it has all of these pictures in it and what they're doing. So this is really good. And these pictures are in really good condition. That's really neat. It's a big folder and that's it. Yeah, it's uh, celebrating their 50, 50th year, 1909 to 1959. And it still has the vice president of sales, his letter. That's that's interesting. Piece of cardboard. Okay. There's a bunch of um it says pinprints 1958 of just different um cowboys doing different things. boy 1956 
Providence Lithograph Company, 1956. It's cute. Here we have, oh my my. Just a second. Let me... This is a really old magazine. It says 1898. Um, it's, it's a part, it's, it's a not in, it says Berlin. I can make that out. Uh, so it's not in English. So there you go. And it, it is, it's all, it's just in pieces. But it's a, it's a, it's a little magazine. It's a magazine. And it's all in a different language. Here we have an old calendar that looks like it's seen better days. They put it in this probably to help to keep it from falling even further apart. It's 1923. And there's the picture of a man and a woman. have Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. This was in North Platte, Nebraska. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. I do not see a date. There it is. Um, just different things. This is this is the life, and I love it. The Women's Army Auxiliary Corps Corporation. Oh, looky here! Dream Lovely describes Lucille Ball. Um, doesn't have a date on it. You can have her exquisite cameo skin tone. As told to Luella Parsons, famous Hollywood commentator, a puff full of glamour from a big box of Woodbury powder, I'm ready for camera or conquest, says gorgeous Lucille Ball. This new Woodbury natural is my shade. It gives my complexion a delicate cameo skin tone that's dazzling fair, most transparent look. Clever Lucille Ball is right, girls. Working with Hollywood directors, Woodbury discovered five complexion types. Then, by a new process, color control, Woodbury blended seductively flattering shades to glorify each type. Flick on your Woodbury Glamour shade. Instantly, your skin takes on new, breathtaking allure. Seems smoother, softer, more youthful, and fragrant Woodbury powder clings like a magic aura. Woodbury powder, is only a dollar, 50 cents, 25 cents, 10 cents. Wear it today for the man in your heart to make his heart beat faster. So there you go. We have Gulf Pride. Uh, what is Gulf Pride? Is that a oil? High detergency. Oh, to protect your engine against corrosion, rust, and wear. Next, we have an advertisement for everybody loves Aunt Jemima pancakes at any meal. And on the back, it has uh, on the back it has a recipe. For peanut butter ham loaf. People, that doesn't even sound good to me. This is for gold seal, for some sort of conga liam rug. Hmm. 
Coca-Cola. Here, this is a spring wardrobe. Touche, the lotion lovely women use beforehand. To take back to college, it is, this is an ad, it's, this is a McCall pattern ad. Like you can put in the number for the pattern you want to order. And this is one, the look of spring. Here we have just a, a print of, looks like they're harvesting wheat again. And then, wouldn't you know it, we've got another Another something, another nude. I don't recognize the woman. Lamont, are you in here? Will you take a look at this woman? I know it's not Marilyn Monroe. I may, I will probably send it to Vinny. If y'all don't watch Vintage Vinny, he really is interested. Yeah, Lamont doesn't know who that woman is either. But um, he loves pinups and since she is really a pinup. Oh, and look, we've got another one. We've got another one, a distressing dilemma. Uh, I might can show this on camera. Do you think I can show this on camera? <coughs> I'll show it real fast. There it is. Now it's gone. I don't. Uh, you can see. You can see the the nipples in that one. So hopefully we don't get. You know they don't knock us. I probably shouldn't have even said that. Anyway. Man trying to kill a bear, or about to kill a bear. Um, more harvesting of the wheat. That That is a really old picture. Um, this is cloth. A cloth that's been painted, perhaps. I'm sorry, I'm looking around because I think I hear Coco. Oh, she was crying because she she wants to go outside. She thinks she was outside, but we uh, we kept telling her it's freezing. You're not going to win out there, but she was doesn't listen. So here we go for home and country 19, 1917. Oh, that's really, that's neat. I scoot y'all back because I felt like, oh, sorry. I felt like I was too close to the camera. <laughs> and then we have Chicago set to reopen tracks this week. Okay. This is... Tuesday, May 8th, 1945. Five reasons why white socks are setting swift pace. If you're interested in the white socks, this is for you. And it's the newspaper of the Chicago Daily Tribune. I can't remember if I said that. And then wouldn't you know, we found something else. This says, the event Will you go call a dressmaker? The bundles for Britain collector was just here and I'm afraid I overdid it. So this is seen better days. Um, so there's that. So that, that was it. That was all in drawer number six. So, you know, there were some interesting things at the bottom. I think Vinny will be happy. Um, I told him that I would send him anything that I thought he would be interested in. And we found some more treasures. So, uh, if y'all don't uh, know who Vinny is, he is Vintage Vinny. 
and he has a YouTube channel and that you can almost find him in any like vintage resellers live, anything like that. He, he, he makes his way through the community. So, and he's a fun guy to watch. Um, and I've sent him a couple of packages um, that I found here that I knew I couldn't show on YouTube. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> and also, we do lives every Tuesday at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, and we will be slowly going through the ephemera and selling bits as, bits and pieces of it and we have a whole lot more than that's just that's not even that didn't even come from this cabinet so uh thanks for watching and we'll see